I recently posted a video about the Beatles and their knowledge of theory. Spoiler, they did know music theory, and it was controversial to some people, which was kind of surprising, but what really surprised me was how many people responded by giving much of the credit to their producer, George Martin. So it begs the question, how much did Martin actually influence their knowledge of music theory? The answer, I believe, is a fair amount, but not as much as many people seem to think. When you dive into the Beatles' compositions, it's clear that they had a strong, intuitive mastery of theory. I mean, it's obvious because you can just hear it, but when you look at the songs themselves, their expert skill at songwriting and their smooth use of modal mixture, etc., they were amazing. Granted, George Martin helped to shape their sound, and the Beatles themselves said that he helped to round the corners on some tunes, given his classical training as a musician. But the Beatles had already clocked in more than 10,000 hours of study themselves, as Malcolm Gladwell describes in his book Outliers, crossing the threshold of expertise well before they signed with the record label and first met Martin. Again, George Martin was brilliant in his own right, and I think he's the best producer of all time. But there's a reason he was the fifth Beatle, and the group wasn't known as the George Martin Five. To say that he was the one who taught the Beatles everything they knew about theory or that they'd be nothing without him is an overstatement, though they may not have advanced as quickly without him. Again, I love the guy, though the only compositions credited to him are from the Yellow Submarine soundtrack, Side 2, the orchestral pieces that are really good, but they're just, they're not the Beatles. And maybe it's just because he was tired from churning out all the other hits that they had. Seriously though, it is tempting to believe the Beatles were ignorant of theory given their demure and misleading statements, and with stories like the one where as teens they traveled across town on a bus to learn a B7 chord from some guy, it seems their knowledge was sketchy at best in the beginning. But in McCartney's biography many years from now, his description of writing yesterday reveals a solid understanding of both melody and harmony, which likely reflected some training by George Martin, but more directly is simply a continuation of his artistic output as a prolific songwriter for the years leading up. A portfolio of songs that date back to before George Martin came into the picture. So yeah, George Martin was a genius and he was hugely influential, but he helped to polish the Beatles' own inherent grasp of theory. He had an explicit knowledge of the vocabulary and principles, while they already had an implicit understanding of it themselves.